Hey everyone, welcome to another how to Webflow. All right, so here we go. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a horizontal scroll section thing. Uh, so basically, instead of trying to explain it, let me show you right here. All right, so what, it, what it's doing is, as I'm scrolling down, there is a section that can horizontally scroll the content from left to right or right to left, whatever you want. And then when it gets to the other section, then the scrolling stops and everything scrolls up and down as normal. Okay. So this isn't a horizontal scroll where you have to use a scroll wheel to go left and right uh, on mouse, mice, mice's mouse uh, that can, but this is more of a scrolling up and down and things move left and right while you're still going up and down, which is more natural on computers. All right, so here we go. All right, as you can see here, I have two sections, the hero row and then a background video. Okay, in between these two, I wanna have the section that horizontally scrolls as I scroll down, okay? So here we go, let's do that. First thing I wanna do is I'm going to put a section in between the two sections. There we go. Now I'm gonna name this mm, horizontal scroll section, okay? Now this section will act as the scroll track, the like how long it takes for you to scroll before all of your content goes from right to left, okay? So I'm gonna make this a height of 400 VH. VH meaning uh, viewport height, okay? Now as I scroll down, things should go from right to left, and then when it's done, it should just scroll up as if it's part of the content, okay? So that's that, okay? Uh, also with this, let's go ahead and set this as position relative because this is where our content is going to stick to, okay? Now we're going to add a second element in here. And this element, we're going to call it the horizontal um, scroll uh, wrapper. Okay. Now this thing, uh, this part does, uh, let's see here. This thing, uh, yeah, this does two things. Okay. This sticks it to the top. So as I'm scrolling down, it doesn't go away. It doesn't like that. It doesn't do that. So in order to do that, we do position sticky and set the top to zero. Now as you watch, it sticks there. And then after I get to the next part, watch, it'll go away. That's what we want. All right. And also we're going to set the width of this to 100 VW, which is the viewport width. Okay. And we're going to uh, set this overflow to hidden. That way, the when we add content inside of this and it goes wider than the page, the page doesn't horizontally scroll with a horizontal scroll bar, okay? We want to clip that. This is like our mask right here, okay? We're masking. All right. Now let's go ahead and actually make the content. So in those, one, two, three, we'll call this horizontal scroll content. And we'll go ahead and set this width to 300 VH, okay? Now, the reason why I'm saying uh, viewport height is be on the width is because I want it to go far based on the height of the, of the page, okay? Now, let's add some stuff. Uh, in here, let's just call this a block, okay? So we have a block and this block will have a height of say 450, eh, 400. And we'll go ahead and make that width 350. Yeah, yeah 400 and 400, something like that. And let's go ahead and set the background. There we go, now we can see the actual block. Okay, and we'll set this to display inline. So that way, if I put another block like that, copy and paste, it goes on the same line. 
but let's go ahead and move them away from each other. We'll do something like 30 on the margin right. So, uh -huh. All right. So if I try to scroll left and right on my mouse, nothing happens because this part right here has overflow hidden. If I made that overflow horizontal, horizontal or I mean ho overflow um, visible, now I can scroll left and right. But that's not what we want. So we're clipping that, and there we go. All right. Um, let's just make these some photos. I'm going to call this block one. We'll give these some photos of the car. Block two, give it a different photo. Block three. Block four. Cool. And I'm just going to put eight blocks, so I'm just going to copy and paste these. So that way I have a lot of stuff to scroll. Oh no, it's wrapping. Okay, I think I know what to do. I think I need to make this flex. There we go. So this is all flex. This is all good. And yeah, so there should be eight. Let me just double check. Yep, there's eight. Okay, cool. So as I scroll, my content should go left and right. Actually, let's just add some padding. There we go. There we go. That's much better. All right, so our content is set up. Now, let me summarize. We have this that tells us how far we have to scroll down with the position of relative. We have this. As a position sticky, this is what makes it stick to the section and then unstick. And then our actual content, which gives us the width that we want and all the content inside of it. All right, cool. Now let's do the interaction. This is the last step. So with the actual, let's see here, scroll content. With the scroll content selected, Oh, nope, sorry. With the horizontal scroll section selected, I'm going to give that element trigger of while scrolling in view. I'm going to give it a new scroll animation. Um, horizontal scroll content. Okay. I'm going to double check that the lightning bolt is set to the actual scroll section. And now I'm going to click on the scroll content and at zero, I want to set the X to zero percent. Okay. And at 100, I want to set this to negative 100%. Oh, nope. Too far. Let's do, yeah, let's do 50%. Yeah. Eh. Okay. 55, whatever you want to do. Okay, now if I preview it, see how it's moving, and then when I get down, it goes up. Now we can play around with when it starts. So I want it to start when it gets to here, 20%. So I'm going to move this down to 20, and I want it to stop. When I get to somewhere about here, so 80, we'll do 80. Okay. And now if I preview it, there we go. A bit challenging, but it works. Hope this helps. Okay, thanks again for watching, and hopefully this tutorial helps you with your uh, future projects. Uh, as always, please let me know if you use any of these tips or tricks in your projects. I'd love to see them. I'd love to review them in a future video. So put your links in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to visit theoverflow.io. I'm posting five new 
free resource links that you can take advantage of uh, on that site. So it's theoverflow.io. Oh, and if you have any suggestions or want to learn something new on this channel, please put that in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit the like button and the notification bell. And that's about it. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.